Hey y'all. Um, so somebody asked me to do a video on um, how to tell the difference between male and female dubia nymphs. So I'm going to do a little quick video to show the two ways that I do it. Um, the first way and the easiest way if you don't like touching dubias is looking in your feeders that you have <clears throat> and basically look for the round ones. So if I was looking in this cup right here, I would say, okay, there's a female, there's a female, because they're really round um, at the abdomen. And all of them that are really round like that, they're always going to be females. Um, here is a male, if I can get him to hold still. Here's a male, and you see how the abdomen is thinner, thicker abdomen, and thinner. Um... So anyways, that's the first way to do it. The second way to do it, you're going to have to touch them. There's no way around it. Um, but if you want to get all the females out of your order, you have to do it this way because um, all of the round ones are going to be females, but there's also going to be... But there's also... Sorry, slight interruption. Um, my toddlers are trying to get in here to me. I came in here to make a video. But anyways, the other way to tell really quick is from flipping them over and looking at this scale. And if you want to get all the females out, you're going to have to do this because all of the round ones are going to be females, but there's going to be some that look similar to males but are females. And the only way to figure out which ones those are by flipping them over. So here's one that I have picked up. And this one is a female. If you look at... I'm trying to see the best. Okay, you see that scale right there? Okay, it goes past that little divot that has the little thing sticking out on each side. You see how that scale is longer than that? That's how you know that's a female. Because it's like twice the size past that divot. Um, let's get this big girl out. Um, these are all females in this cup, by the way. Out of my bin. Okay, this one's a little bit easier to tell because it's darker. Again, the first scale down there at the end, you see the little divot that almost looks like it has a little antenna? Well, if this was a male, the first scale would end with that, but it doesn't. As you can tell, it goes like more than twice the length. So let's try a different one. And this one's a little bit smaller, but again, you can see that big scale that goes past the divots. Now let's try, oops, sorry little girl. Now let's try um, a male and I'll show you what that looks like. So, here's a male. Wouldn't be able to tell this from one of the girls without picking it up. And, sorry y'all, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Getting it flipped over, which they don't like. I swear the males are more wily than the females. Okay. Dude. Alright. Um, so here's this guy. You see the difference? See how small that scale is in comparison? The female's first scale was pretty much the size of like two of his. His pretty much ends with those little divots. I'm going to grab another one. And, um, I've been feeding the mills off, so there aren't as many to pick from. Let's see. Here's a smaller one. Let's check him out. Oh, he's got something on him. Okay. Let's check this guy or girl out. Sometimes I find girls in the guy bin. Yep. Uh, it is another male. You see how the scale is very tiny right there? Y'all excuse my nails. I don't get fake nails put on and I bite my fingernails as you can see. So, Sorry about that. So we'll look at one more out of the male bin. Might be a male. Should be a male. Might be a female though. Flip them over. And from a distance, automatically you can tell, see that tiny little scale? It's very small down there at the end. 
And let's pick up one of the girls again, just to compare one last time, so you know what you're looking for. See that? The divots are there, but it's like twice the size. All right, big girl. Um, you look anxious to participate. Let's try her. And again, see the huge scale that goes past the divots? I'm not talking about the color. I'm talking about the actual scale. So, long video, but I hope that helps. First way, look for the round ones. The round ones are always female. That little one right there, female. I, I would be able to tell that just by looking at her. You know, I wouldn't have to flip her over. And that's generally what I do, pull them out and then I go back through them again. And especially if they're bigger, like some of these, I flip every single one of them over and I go through each one individually. It's painstaking, but you know what? It's worth it because you're gonna grow your colony really quick if you start keeping like from every feed order that you get, you start keeping all of your females and throwing throwing them into your um, breeder bin. That's the way to do it because then you you know each female you keep is potentially producing you a ton of babies. So anyway, hope that helped.